I only need you in my life. So let's continue this off from last time. If you saw my it's hard making friends when you're older video, I talked about how my roommates were off of Craigslist. So let's continue from there. I was so excited to start college and I was more excited to dorm. I wanted to dorm because I thought that it was gonna be like safe by the bell, the college years. And we're all gonna get along and it's gonna be great. That wasn't the case. So I was on a waiting list. I couldn't get a dorm. It was a month before school started. So I ended up resorting to Craigslist. So for my first roommate, I think I found her Craigslist ad and she said that she was looking for a roommate immediately. She was in her early 20s and it was in Chinatown. It was a little bit out of my budget, but I was desperate. I, I didn't think that I was going to have to look for a place on my own. So my mom and I, we made an appointment to go see her. So when we got there, she was already showing the place to another girl. But then off to the side, there was another girl, a Korean girl, and my roommate was Chinese. So this girl, I'm like, oh, is she, maybe she brought her friend. No, this girl was her roommate or was supposed to be her roommate. So the situation was my roommate found this girl to live with and they didn't see the apartment beforehand because they were remodeling stuff or whatever. So a lot, a lot of places do this. So you can't see the place, but they give you a little discount on the price of rent. So they agreed to live with each other and they don't really know each other. I don't know how they met, maybe off of Craigslist. So when they went to go see the place, the Korean girl had a fit because the rooms were so tiny. Granted, the rooms are very small for the price of the apartment. Uh, the master bedroom is like a normal size bedroom, but the second bedroom is really, really tiny. It's like living in a closet like living in a dorm. So she refused to live in that room. I don't know why the Korean girl was still there because obviously they weren't gonna live with each other and my roommate was obviously finding another girl to live with. Hence, she put up the ads. She's showing uh, the place to another girl and I'm there to look at the place as well. So why is this girl there? And since she's Korean, she's like talking to my mom and venting to her going, oh, I didn't know the room was gonna be this small. How can I live there? And my roommate offered her the master bedroom, but she refused. So what is the problem? So according to the Korean girl, she wanted to live in the living room and pay rent for that and then find another girl to live in that small, tiny room. And my roommate was like, no, that living room is for us, for everyone. You are not gonna live there. And she was like vending to my mom and mom was like, uh-huh, uh-huh. My mom was like really nice about it, but she's like, this girl is crazy. And I'm thinking to myself like, oh my gosh, I'm glad that this is not the girl I'm gonna live with. After talking to the girl who was eventually my roommate, she's like, I like you. You can have the place, let's be roommates. And I was like, okay. The other girl that was looking at the place came with her parents and she heard that and she's like, I came here first and she was pissed and my roommate's like yeah but I get to choose who I live with they left very angry <laughs> and I was left with my roommate and the Korean girl and my mom and that Korean girl wouldn't leave so anyway I'm living with my roommate she was in her early she was in her early 20s she was only two years older than me I didn't have any problems with her we had very like we had mutual respect and the thing about the apartment was it was tandem parking so we always had to call each other and check up on each other to make sure that our cars weren't in the way and you know all that stuff and that wasn't actually a big deal I thought that was gonna be like uh, very frustrating but it wasn't thankfully I had no problems with her the only thing that really bothered me was that she saw me as like a little girl. Girlfriend is only two years older than me. One time we were talking and I don't know, I was vent I was talking to her about something and then, I'm, by the way, I'm taller than her. <laughs> I'm bigger than her, right? And she does this, oh, it's gonna be okay. She like, like a little kid. And I was like, bitch, did you just touch my hair? Did you just really do what I think you just did? And 
I, I didn't want to make a big deal out of it. I'm just kind of like, okay, whatever. Whatever. My roommate and I, we signed up for a year. Uh, we decided not to live there after the lease ended because we had a lot of problems with management. They were pretty bad. We had problems with the apartment, with bugs. And she was nice enough to offer me to live with her in another place. She was like, oh, my friends and I, we got this house that's a couple blocks away, actually. And if you want to live with us, you know, you're more than welcome to because, you know, we got along. And I thought that was very sweet of her, but I actually wanted to live closer to school. Not that I lived that far away, but I wanted to live closer to school and I kind of wanted a different experience. I wanted to see if there would be other roommates, right? So I said, sorry, you know, I'm gonna try to find another place. Back on Craigslist, I go and I find a place. The room was cheap. And it was very nice based on the pictures. So I drove by and I'm like, whoa, it's like a like a townhouse. And the girl was renting out rooms. I meet up with her and everything looks awesome. Like her place is really nice. The price is right for the room. It was different because I'm renting a room from a place instead of doing half and half. So I took it. There's three bedrooms and she rented out two rooms because she, the owner lived there too in the master bedroom. The day I moved in, I got to meet my roommate and she was super chill. I thought, oh, this is, we're gonna get along. I could already tell. And she was helping me set up my Wi-Fi because I was having problems with it. And she was telling me how she was moving in two days. And I was like, I just moved in here. Why are you leaving? And she said, you'll find out. I said, girl, you better tell me why you're moving out. I just moved in. You better tell me. And she briefly mentioned something. I can't remember now what it is. I'm like, what is she talking about? I don't, I don't get it. She was very vague about it. Then I know why. So the owner of the townhouse is was in her late 20s. Her mother came in every day to cook for her, walk her dog, and then at nighttime, she came back to cook for her and clean for her and walk the dog. Morning to night, in and out. So it was like having a mom living with you. I'm paying money to be away from my mom. <laughs> I don't want to be in the presence of another mom. The mom doesn't even live there. And I found out later that the mom lives like a block or two away in a different house. So that was a bit uncomfortable because it just felt like she was watching me, you know, every time I was home. I couldn't do the things I wanted to do. She would tell me in broken English, make sure you close the door, make sure you do this and that. I'm like, okay. So my initial roommate, she moved out two days later. And then I think a couple weeks later, a new girl moved in. And this girl actually, um, went, we went to the same school together. I didn't really have any problems with the girl. We hung out a couple of times. Both our rooms had sliding doors that um, led to a balcony that connected to each other. So we would be out there talking a lot of times. I didn't. I don't have anything bad to say about her. I don't. We didn't fight or anything. It's just, you know, we had a mutual <laughs> hatred for the owner. Like we would talk about her. You know, like you know, girls <laughs> gossip. So back to the owner. I come home, I go to my room, and I'm on my computer. All of a sudden, the owner comes home, and she barges into my room, and she's like angry, and she's like frustrated, and she's like all accusing me of something. And I'm like, whoa, 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 whoa. I come out of my room, and I'm like, what is going on? She's like, were you in my room? Why would I be in your room? I don't even go to your room when your door is open. Like, when I give her rent, I put it underneath her door. If her door is open and she's in there, I knock and I don't even go in there at all until she says, come in. Like, I respect people. <laughs> she was saying that money was stolen from her room and she was accusing me of stealing it. I told her I just came home. I didn't go in your room. You know, there is another roommate. Why are you just accusing me? Why is it, why is it me? You know, and I have no reason for her to accuse me of anything and there's no reason for her to not trust me. I was very surprised. Turns out she had $50 on her desk and it was gone. 
And she was telling me that she was going to call the police. For $50? She was going to call the police. I said, I didn't take your money. Go ahead, call the police. Actually, I wanted her to call the police because that would have been so ridiculous for them to come over and realize that this bitch is crazy. You're calling me over $50? I, was, oh, I really wish she called the police. I went to my room, I closed it, I'm like, this, this, I, I can't believe she's accusing me of this. The next day, I, I'm talking to my roommate. By the way, she, not, she did not accuse my roommate of stealing money, which is the, right? My roommate said she spoke to the owner's mom. And the owner's mom said that that day, the owner and her friend was in her room and that girl, her, the owner's friend, is very shady. And that the mom thinks that the owner's friend is the one who took it. Like, she was saying things like, oh yeah, that girl, she can't trust her. And she does this and this and this. I'm like, are you serious? Instead of accusing your shady friend, you're accusing me? I was very hurt. And it's like the level of level of stupidity you know you have a friend who's shady that you know is shady and you're cute Ugh. so the owner instead of apologizing to me she ended up putting a lock on her door because there was no there's no locks on our doors um but she made it only for her door she put a, a double lock because obviously i'm gonna go in there and steal fifty dollars and you can hear it. every time she'll come in and out of her room even to just go downstairs she'll lock her door it was it was ridiculous. So at this time, I'm already planning my exit. <laughs> so at this time, I'm like, okay, I can't live here. I can't live here anymore, but I'm just gonna weigh it out because I don't want to move again. I don't want to go through that whole process again. And the rent is cheap. I just don't want to deal with it. I thought everything was fine after that. I just decided not to be in her way and just make sure that we don't run into each other. So one day, she comes into my room and she has a bunch of paper and it's a contract. She was telling me that, oh, her complex is not allowing people to rent out rooms. They're cracking down on it. And so that she decided to create this contract saying that I'm her dog walker. So in lieu of me walking her dog, I get to stay in her house and she wants me to sign it. I think this was her way of saying, you know, that whole thing about the $50 I accused you of, I don't want you to leave. <laughs> uh, I think she was scared that I was going to move out. So she created this contract because it doesn't make sense at all. I already know this bitch is crazy. I didn't want to argue with her. I don't want any, I don't want to any trouble. So I unwillingly, I, I signed it. I know, stupid. Turns out that she didn't make my other roommate sign it. She really did not trust me. So I'm like, okay, just wait it out. A couple more months, just avoid her and everything will be okay. This time I'm like, you know what? I'm not gonna go on Craigslist because I don't want to go through this girl again. So there was like roommates.com or roomster.com and I created like a profile on it. I hope I deleted my profiles on there. But I created some profile thing and no luck. I don't think people use it. So back to Craigslist, I went. So I put up an ad. I can't remember if this girl found me or I found her. Probably I found her because I really wanted to leave. So this other girl I found, she was also looking for a place. So I contacted her and we decided to meet at a bobo shop. And she was in her late 20s. And when we met up, she has a very energetic personality, which I'm more, I guess, laid back. So she, was, she talks really fast and she was Chinese. All my roommates were Chinese, by the way. She was telling me that she was living with her boyfriend, but they broke up. And she continued living with her boyfriend. And I'm like, why couldn't one of you guys move out? And it's not like they broke up recently. They broke up months ago and living together. That could have been a red flag on her personality. <laughs> but I was telling her my situation. She's like, oh no, you need to move out as fast as you can. That's why we should live together. I'm like, okay, yeah, let's, let's, 
let's live together. So I told her from the beginning, this is my budget. I can't go past it because I'm broke. I'm a broke college student. And she worked for this well-known company, I think well-known engineering company. And she was making a lot of money. Her only thing was that she bought a new BMW and she needed covered parking. So I said, no problem. So I found a couple different places, decent places that had covered parking for her, but none of them she liked. And those were all within my price range. She ended up finding a place way out of my budget, like a couple hundred dollars out of my budget. And I told her, I can't afford this. I know you like this place, but I can't afford it. She's like, you know what? You pay what you can pay and I'll just pay the rest. I said, are you, are you serious? Like, I, I, I don't want you to spend so much money. I want it to be equal. And she's like, no, it's fine. You know, I really like this place, so pay what you pay and I'll just pay the rest. I said, I feel really bad, but okay. That was the deal. We move in, the place is pretty big. It's a two bedroom, two bath, and the rooms are on opposite sides of each other. Even though it's big, it wasn't soundproof. You could hear everything. So we move in and I was happy because I was like, I have a kitchen to myself. I could finally cook, you know, there's no fridge though. So I told her my first roommate and I, we chipped in to buy a fridge and we ended up selling it when we moved out. Like, Why don't we do the same thing? And she's like, okay, I'll let me, I'll get back to you. She never got back to me. I was like, what is so hard? And she's like, oh, you know, when we move out, I'm like, don't worry, we'll, we can sell a fridge, you know, it, it's not gonna be difficult so she took so long that my mom had a mini fridge so I ended up picking up my mom's mini fridge and I'm like I wanted to put initially I wanted to put it in my bedroom but I felt bad so I'm like I guess I would share my mini fridge until we can get a regular fridge so I put my mini fridge outside I start going grocery shopping and I fill it up a little bit but not too much in case she wanted to use it respect um not, not joking not even a week later, I see another mini fridge on top of my fridge. So she saw my mini fridge and decided to get herself her mini fridge and stack it on top of each other. And so I said, you got a mini fridge? And she's like, yeah, this, so this is better this way, you know? And I said, yeah, okay. She has her own fridge and I have my own fridge. No big deal, no big deal. Uh, she ended up taking over my fridge and she's never home. So I don't know how all this food that she buys gets stuck, stuffed in the refrigerator. She stuffed both of the refrigerators to the max, to the point I couldn't even, I couldn't even buy anything to put in there. I'm not even joking when I say it was packed. I don't even know how she can close both of them. I don't know what exactly was a turning point where we decided that we did not like each other. One day, I hear her coming home and no joke, a couple minutes later, I get a Facebook notification, that a message from her. And I'm like, she just got home and she wanted to talk to me, she could just talk to me. I read the Facebook message and she's like, hey, um, so at my job, it's not going so good. Uh, people are getting laid off and I'm worried that I'm gonna get laid off too. I was just wondering if you can pay equal amount rent. So I messaged her back and I said, yo, I told you from the beginning, I can't afford to go, I can't pay any more above my limit. We agreed on this. I didn't agree to this place, you know, I wanted something cheaper that we could both afford, but you wanted this pay place and you said that you were gonna pay that portion and I was gonna pay my portion. So I'm sorry, I can't. And plus, you know, we only have like two months left. I'm not gonna live here any anymore. So I'm not gonna pay more money for rent. Oh, <laughs> that gave her a reason not to like me. She decided to get a hamster and put it in the living room. And hamsters don't sleep. 
I don't think they sleep at all. I mentioned that my apartment wasn't soundproof. You could hear every single thing. Like if you <coughs> coughed softly in the other room, I could hear it. So she decided to get a hamster with a wheel and put it in the living room. And I felt like she did that to get back at me because I couldn't sleep. Because a hamster does not sleep at nighttime. It's on this wheel going <laughs> I had to sleep with headphones every single night and I wanted, I'm sorry, uh, I was thinking bad thoughts on what I could do with the hamster because it was driving me crazy to, just to hear that. I didn't find a new place to live, but I really wanted to get out of there. So instead of finding a new place for the summer, I just decided to move all my stuff back home. So now I have to look for another roommate. Back to Craigslist I go. So this time I find a girl, um, she's around my age and she's transferring to my school. And we meet up, she seems really chill and she's white this time. She's white and we get along and I'm like, oh my gosh, is this the first girl that I'm actually going to get along with? Her only thing was that she had a dog, a large dog that she wanted to bring with her. So I said, okay, well, um, our budget was around the same um, for the apartment. And I said, no problem. I'll, I'll look up places, you look up places, and then I'll make sure that they can have dogs. Dogs are allowed. We send each other places and then we make a day to look at the places. And the place complex has like a big yard that you can um, walk your dog. It's pet friendly. And I really like that place. The rooms were kind of small, but you know, if she wanted the bigger room, doesn't matter with me. So we were kind of set on living with each other. And a week later, I don't hear from her. So I texted her saying, hey, like, what's up? You know, like we should put in an application for this place. You know, it was really good. I got like ghosted. She didn't reply to me. And um, so I text her again, no reply. So this, I think the next day I call her and I say, hey, did you not get my text message? She's like, oh yeah, I'm so sorry. So, um, yeah, I found another place to live. Uh-huh. She's like, yeah, I found another place to live. My, my friend knows a girl and she found this really great place, um, you know, and it has a big yard, like it's a house, I can rent a room for my dog. And, you know, I really want to take it. I said, you, oh, 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 okay. I wish you would have told me this, but you know, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna fight with you, you know, so have a nice life, bye. <laughs> but she said she was gonna live with me, but she goes behind my back to find another place. If she didn't want to live with me to begin with, she should have just said it. And it was like two weeks before school started. So I was so frustrated and I'm like, I decided, you know, I'm, I'm just gonna get a place for myself. I'm not gonna, I, I have no time to look for another roommate. So I was looking for one bedroom places and I found the cheapest I could get. And the place looked like a motel. Like it was a circle. It was very shady, but the price was right. Outside was shady though. Inside wasn't too bad. So one time I went home for a couple weeks and when I came back to my apartment, my parking space was taken and I had nowhere to park. There's no guest parking. There's no street parking. It's just congested. There's no, if you, if you can't park in your own spot, there's nowhere else to park. So I parked to, the side blocking cars and I quickly go to the uh, the management and she lived like a couple doors from me so I'm like knocking on her door making hoping that she's home and she's like hey what's up I said hi um my parking space someone's parked in my parking space she goes yeah yeah weren't you gone for like a month how did she know the house gone for a month I said Yes. She goes, yeah, uh-huh. I'm like, um, 
my parking space. She's like, oh, okay, so yeah, just you can park in my parking space, and then you know, I'll I'll don't I'll tell that car to move. Okay, she's like, yeah, you were gone. Uh huh. She's like, yeah, uh huh. So she sold my parking space when I was gone. How did she know I was gone for a month? Is she like spying on me? That was scary. I was I was a bit freaked out that she knew that I was gone. So I'm like, okay, I'm not gonna live here <laughs> that much longer. And plus, my uh, the people in the complex were scary looking. That's what you get when you want to save money, live in a shady area. <laughs> so that was my experience with the Craigslist roommates. I think in the end, the best roommate you can have is yourself. So I'm gonna give myself a hug. High five self. It's just me. I don't, it's just my experience. Like other people I hear have roommates who are friends with their roommates. And I was so jealous and I didn't get that. I didn't get that at all. Saved by the Bell, the college years lied to me. You lied.